Hello guys and welcome to our third episode of Let's Learn Together Academy. We have Thunder1337 with us again today um, and they are going to learn how to survive your first couple nights in Minecraft. Just to get That's good because I'm already starving. Yeah, just to get established enough to where you uh, don't starve to death and also so that you can pass the nights a little easier. So, Thunder. Wow. Let's, uh, okay. Let me use some academy magic here and make this go away. Come on in. Oh. Thor tried to close on me. Not as bad as what happened to Wombat, though. <laughs> so if you come right this way, Thunder. Um, just hold on. Gotta. Okay. Um. Over here and over here, we have our survival area. So I'm gonna have to ask you to deposit all your gear and items into this chest. Is there a fast way to do that? I would just hold shift and just single click all your items. Um, and if you have any like items, you can double click and it'll put all the items into the chest, provided you have one in your hand already. All right. Almost. Okay. All right. So, the situation is Thunder. You've just spawned in to your first game of Minecraft, and you've never played before. Um, you're semi-familiar with computer games, so you understand kind of the basic controls. But get, get in there. Get, get, get out of here. Okay. Wow. Well, um, that person. And so this is going to be inside this gate ahead of you is going to be your Minecraft world that you're spawning into. Good luck. We will be following in spectator mode. Ghost mode, uh, activate. This chest that says stuff to survive with is empty. Ah, yes, yes. You don't get anything to start with, so. Okay. So uh, your first order of business is probably to punch one of these trees. Well, I need food. But I need to be able to cook the food, which means I probably need rocks for a furnace. Ah, uh, yes, but the so, easiest, yes. yes, the easiest resource to get when you have nothing is wood. So. And then once Thunder has completed harvesting enough wood, the tree will start falling apart and it will get them some sticks probably an apple or two, a sapling or two, and um, they will be able to use the stick, sticks and the wood to create their first tools via the menu. So there's a little book below the uh, four squares that will show you all of your available recipes. Very handy. So you're gonna wanna get some lumber going on probably so you can get your first workbench operational. I'm trying to figure out how to make a workbench, but apparently I don't know how to do that. No, you need lumber for a workbench. Fairly certain. But I just got logs. Is that you not lumber? You have logs, but you need to, haven't converted them into lumber, yeah. What is it wood? Is that what I want? No, you should, you should be able to just convert them into lumber. I can do wood or planks. Those are my options. Planks, yes. Sorry. My brain tells me lumber, but they're planks. Okay, now I can make a crafting table, which will go here. And then... So you might need to gather more things if you don't have sticks, because you'll need sticks to make tools. You can also make sticks out of uh, planks. Oh, okay. All right, what should I 
Well, you should have a few different options. You'll be able to create a pickaxe or an axe. Um, I would definitely say get a pickaxe and maybe an axe as well, so you can hum harvest more lumber a little easier. Do I need to go gather stone for that? Um, I think you can make wooden ones if you have um, enough wood. Oh, sorry, I have to leave the crafting menu before it registers that I can do anything. Oh yes, so sometimes, this is one thing that I've noticed about the crafting menu, it doesn't recognize that you've learned new recipes sometimes until you've left the crafting menu and gone all the way back to like the normal UI. Um, oh yes, and a sword is handy for hunting some food, so there you go. There's lots of sheep around and cows and oftentimes chickens. Uh, rabbits are pretty common in the desert. That's a wise decision, planting your saprolines so you don't right. run out of trees. Ooh, what is this? It is really hard to mine, that's what it is. So did you actually get an iron ingot? Or not ingot, uh... Or is that what that is? No, I didn't yeah. get any. Okay, so you need at least a stone pickaxe to harvest iron ore. Okay, well right now I just want a furnace so I can cook. Yes. So I'm gonna do that. And now... There we go. I'm gonna go murder something. I'm sorry, cow. Wow. All right, so furnaces can burn anything, pretty much anything burnable. So it can burn wood, it can burn lumber, it can burn planks, it can burn coal. Um, old tools. Old, yep, old tools. Uh, and you wanna always make sure to have enough fuel in there or it may not finish processing whatever you put in. Um, oh, I see that. All right, so one of the first things that you're going to want to do um, is have God clear some of the rain. <laughs> is get sheep for wool so you can build beds. That way you can pass at nights without having to, because more mobs, more monsters spawn at night. And um, you want to be able to, you know, pass the night quickly, so a bed is necessary. So you'll need planks and wool. Um, looks like Thunder's made the executive decision to get more cobblestone, though, to make probably stone tools, if I had to guess. Yes. Um, also, I don't know what to do with the sheep. So until I spontaneously get a recipe that solves that mystery for me, I'm going to leave them alone. So you don't learn recipes without having the item to learn it from. So you will have to kill a sheep and get the wool in order to learn the recipe. I have to kill a sheep? I can't just make scissors? You could make scissors. If you can get uh, two iron, you can make scissors, and then you can just shear the sheep um, and leave the sheep alive. Um, however, the easiest way when you first start out is often just to kill the sheep. Um, however, you do should probably already have access to stone tools and should be able to make iron if you want. Yes, I apparently forgot that I would need sticks for tools. Slash, thought I could just make an axe out of stone. Okay. So this brings me up uh, another valuable strategy for harvesting trees. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Sometimes you wanted to mine the one block above the bottom of the tree so you can hop up onto that block and get a little higher and mine a little bit more. But yeah, that tree has a lot of has a lot of wood in it too. Yes, this is quite the tree. But yes, the friendly way is to make shears and shear the sheep. Um, well, very... if I kill the sheep, then I'll run out of sheep. It's true. So it is the better way to go if you can do it. Um, so that is a great decision. Though it does mean that sometimes you might be spending your first night in a hole, hiding from monsters, waiting for the night to go by. 
because monsters oh. hit really, really hard when you have no armor. Um, but that's okay. If that's if that's how you want to do it, if that's your strategy, then you know there's no real wrong way unless you're trying to do a speed run or something. But that's those are kind of fringe cases. Man, there really is a lot in this tree. But I have to get everything where the tree will just kind of float there, right? Yeah. So any if the leaves have any uh, uh, logs attached to them, they will not decompose. I also can't tell what's part of this tree because it's overlapping so much. Yeah, and that will sometimes happen as well. Although, I mean, at this point, you should be able to get enough lumber and sticks from the wood logs you've harvested. So there's no real, you know, need to do that. You can also do this fun little trick if you ever get flint and steel. You can actually burn the, all the leaves away. Um, oh, okay. Although I think that might destroy your drops. I'm not entirely certain. But it does just make the leaves go away. <laughs> All right, well, um, and in your menu, you have should have a show all showing all or show what you can craft button um so take advantage of that because it'll show you what you can craft and or what you can't craft there's also a search bar um, the search bar is pretty handy usually you want to turn this so it's showing all and then you can search for whatever you want I have full stone tools. Nice. So now you can harvest the iron, theoretically. Yep. Yes. And now you can build shoes. So you can make your bed. That way you don't have to be up all night. Another great reason to have a bed is because after the third or fourth night in Minecraft, uh, phantasms spawn which are a flying creature that has a very terrifying screech, at least in survival mode, and and are quite annoying and kind of a pain to deal with. So if you can go to bed, it just negates that entire problem. Wow, this world really just wants to rain all the time. I mean, it's okay. It's part of the game, right? It is, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to keep the weather nice and clear. Okay, I need two ingots to make shears. And you need to make sure you have enough fuel. Oh yeah, you got yep. oak logs in there. It's also nice when I can just burn my old tools. Saves me a couple things that are still useful. So, furnaces, when you pull the resources out of them, will actually give you XP. Very nice. The sheep has trapped itself and the leaves keep growing back. What is this? Thank you, sheep. So I, you may need more than one wool to make a bed, but I do not remember. I definitely need more than one. So how many wool do you need? I need three and I have two. I bet they eat hay. They do. Oh, how did I gather leaves? Shears, shears gather leaves. Oh, that's neat. Yep, that explains or, or why I'm getting grass also. Silk Touch will also gather leaves. Well, the 
Will the cow eat the leaves? No, no. I don't think so. So but your sheep will grass. No. will respawn their wool whenever they eat the grass. So you actually, I think both of your sheep are wooled back up now. Oh, okay. So it doesn't take them long. They'll, after a few ticks, they'll randomly decide that, you know what, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm gonna eat some grass. Yeah, and you, and you don't need any special walls to go to bed or anything like that. You can just do it. Hooray. Boom. One entire night has been survived. It's actually been like two nights, but that's okay. Oh. Two whole nights, even better. So, with the... Uh, uh, so, anyway, that's pretty much how you get your, base, your basics established. Um, you get your workstation operational... You move into your furnace, and so you can make your bed. Sometimes sheep can be a little hard to find. Sometimes you'll have to go fairly far afield. Um, so, Thunder, what do you suggest people do to um, make sure that they have the sheep they need once they find them? Um, don't murder all the sheep. Don't murder all the sheep. That's a good one. The other thing is if you can get a wheat farm going, which we will be going over later, um sheep will follow you around as long as you tempt them with wheat so will cows so that is definitely something to have in mind so yeah so thunder just planted some wheat seeds right there although they should get some water near them um, oh within four blocks preferably which you will need to build a bucket for to do and or just move your farm well i guess it's too late to move those but that's okay it's just wheat and yeah, I think that that concludes our first survival couple nights. As you can see, it's uh, fairly easy. It's a little bit more difficult if there's actually monsters spawning. Um, Thunder has the luxury of doing this on Academy Grounds where the monsters are either friendly or non-existent or in the Monsterarium. The untrainable ones are in the Monsterarium. So thanks for watching, guys. And wow, this weather is determined to rain. Well, you know, the clouds stay all fluffy if you force them to, if you don't let them rain. It's true. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Thunder, you want to come on over here and say farewell to our wonderful friends? Farewell. And uh, Th Thunder, it's it's been great, but you gotta you gotta get off campus grounds again. Okay. So yes. Uh -oh.